welcome back to our third part of our Adobe Spark post tutorial. We're still using the mobile device version and we have had a tutorial on how to set up which was part one. Part two was how to add icons and go through some of the features of changing colors. Now we're going to get into some of the nitty gritty. We're going to add some text and add some cool effects. Let's get into it. Okay, so now I have um, added the extra shape. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select multiple by touching one and then choosing select multiple. Then you can select all. And now that I've selected all of them, I'll click next. And now I will go to align. And what I want to do is I would like them all to be middle. So now that they are perfectly aligned, I'm going to touch and drag them over to more of the center of the page. And that is there, I'll click done. And um, now that I've done this, I am going to add some text. So I'll click on plus, click on add text. And I will type in Okay, so as you can see, it's automatically added some text. I haven't put it where I want it, and it's also put a background on the text as well. So I'm going to drag this to the top. I'm going to centralize it, and I'm going to pinch on one of the um, green handles in the corner, and I'm going to make it so that they are um, all on the same line. Okay. Now that the um, text is in the orientation that I like, what I'm going to do is go through the options that we have here for the text. So obviously in the edit section, we have delete, duplicate. We have the option for secondary style, which if I select it now, you'll see it alternates between the colors that you have. So on the right hand side, and originally I had the, um, what is that, turquoise, turquoise color and the cream background. And when I selected the alternate, uh, option it has made the background green and the text cream so it just swapped those around now if I touch on the other side it can do both words or I can touch to deactivate the swap so that is that the option there I'll click done um, click on the text again to see the options so um, on the um, edit section, you can see that you've got edit text, delete, duplicate, secondary style, and select multiple. That is if you had multiple um, lines of text on your page, you can move them around together, which is great. Okay, so now in the font option, you've got a lot of different fonts to choose from. Um, and you can go through and have a look and see what you like. I'm gonna choose BBS, BBS New. And I am going to, so again, you can choose from all the different font options that you like. Um, and you can also add new fonts. You can also go to select color. Now the colors that are selected are based on the colors that you already have in your image. So the handy thing is if you're not sure about which colors complement each other, Spark Post will automatically choose colors that complement each other for you. So again, you can kind of go against the grain. You could choose for selected, um, for suggested colors. Uh, again, sticking with the complementary themes based on the colors you've already got selected. As you can see, you've got the behind the text. Now, if that's something that you don't want, you would go to shape. Now in shape, you can see that it's already got an option selected. I could flick through the different options that it has there and you can see the different styles it's adding to the background of my text. Now, if I were not happy with any of these, I would select none, which is right back at the start, and just continue without a background. In fact, I prefer having no background, so I'm gonna proceed like this. Um, effects, this just adds some different stylistic features, effects, out and outline, cut out and shadow. So again, you can choose one of those. Size, it's just, uh, I guess, a more precision way to resize your text. 
uh, using the slider so it doesn't uh, move it from that central position that you had it but it um, resizes it when you tend to pinch and zoom you can see that it will only move from that corner and thus kind of move your text away from where it was whereas the um, a, a size adjustment will adjust it from the very position that it is without moving it so it adjusts all four corners in each direction so happy with that size again I'm going to centralize this and again the adjustment options you can nudge rotate and scale and you can line centralize to the left or to the right this works more when you have uh, multiple lines of text Again, spacing, it's the same thing. When you have more lines of text, that option comes into play. Opacity, we've covered. Order, we've covered. And style, just selects different styles that you may like to have for your text. Um, so because this, go back to shape and select none again, and it goes back to my original. Okay, so that is the option for the text. Now, one other thing I would like to show you is the effects. There is a new effect for your text. And there are different types of typewriter effects. You've got a dynamic effect. You've got lots of different ones here. You can select the ones that you like and choose what you feel is appropriate for your post. So that one there is a color shuffle. Then we simply have a text fade. And finally, we have the text grow. And I'm just going to stick with the text grow. Um, now you can see, because I've selected an animation, there's a play symbol that appears in the bottom left corner. Now, when I click on this, it will start the animation and it will play it and then it will repeat it over and over again until I touch on the image itself and it will stop it. Okay, that's it for part three. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Part four is coming soon also, where I will teach you how to use the icon tool as well as the order tool to manipulate the layers just like you would do in Photoshop to create some cool graphics, possibly for infographics or for posts. So be sure to check that one out. See you next time.